Alarm 1 on the Alpha I servo amplifier indicates a failure of the internal cooling fan. This presentation will demonstrate the troubleshooting and replacement procedures involved. When the servo amp faults out for a bad internal fan, it does it in two stages. When it first detects a fan problem, the amp goes into a warning state. And if the fan issue hasn't self-corrected within about one minute, it goes into an alarm state. Alarm DS608 is generated by the CNC when it detects that a servo amp is in the warning state. In parentheses, the alarm will indicate the axis that the amplifier controls. If it's a multiple axis drive, like the one in the picture here, you will get an alarm for each axis. While the servo amplifier is in the warning state, the servo amplifiers are still powered up and able to move the machine around. The SV444 alarm indicates that the amplifier has moved into the alarm state and all of the amplifier units immediately become not ready. The machine can no longer move. The machine tool builder may even write an alarm that indicates that there is a problem with an amplifier fan, as is the case with the EX1047 alarm that is shown here. Chances are good you don't know exactly which amplifiers drive which axes, so the best thing to do is while the alarm is occurring, access the electronics cabinet with power on, safely of course, and look at the status displays of the units. You're looking for the unit that is displaying a 1. If you put your hand over the top of the servo amplifier, you should feel air blowing on you. There may be another fan on the heatsink that is mounted through the wall. That one has a different alarm. If you don't feel any air, you can be pretty confident in what the problem is. If you do feel air blowing, compare it to the other amplifiers in the machine. Is it blowing just as hard? In a little bit, I'll show you how to find the fan speed on the screen. Fanuc has made the replacement of the fan simple as well. You shouldn't have to remove the amplifier. You shouldn't need any tools. If there is an object directly over the top of your amplifier, your experience may differ. While the DS608 alarm is displayed, the machine is still technically able to move. However, if you need to move the machine using an automatic operation, it's not going to happen because you have an alarm on the screen. Additionally, some ladders are written to prevent servo movement while an alarm related to the servos is occurring. Parameter 1807 bit 2 set to a 1 will prevent the DS608 alarm from ever occurring. The amplifier will still be in a warning state for one minute and then it goes into the alarm state. You just won't have any indication of that on the screen. If you've got a bad amp, set 1807 bit 2 equal to 1, cycle the amplifier's power to clear the alarm, and then when you power up the machine, you will have a minute to move while the amplifier is in the warning state. Once the amplifier switches to the alarm state, you will get an alarm on the screen again. Power down and power up as necessary to get the machine where you need it. The latest series of amplifiers have a diagnostic that shows you the fan speed. CNC Diagnostic 1711 reports the RPM reading of the fan. Diagnostic 1712 is for the larger amplifiers that have two internal fans. If you don't have that diagnostic on your CNC, it just means that your amplifiers are older models. Now that you know what's wrong, it's time to lock out the machine and make sure all energies are released from any area you'll be working on. The internal cooling fan and its housing lift right off of the top and it goes back in the same way it came out. In order to get the housing out, you must squeeze these two tabs to release it. The fan and the housing are two separate parts. The part number of the fan will probably start with A90L, and chances are good the part number is printed on the fan. If it isn't, contact our part sales department, give them the part number of your servo amplifier, it's the AO6B number on the label at the top of the amp, and they'll figure it out. The yellow plastic housing can be reused unless it's physically damaged. Molded into the plastic, you will find its part number, likely beginning with A230. Now that you have the fan out, there are a few things that you can check for. Is the fan physically blocked or filthy? Cleaning it up may fix it. Try to reseat the fan module. Perhaps it was a bad connection. Is the plastic that holds the fan connector in place broken? Is it possible the fan isn't plugging into the amplifier correctly? If all of that fails, replace the fan.
It's rare, but sometimes it's not the fan, but the amplifier itself. The gray board that all the connectors plug into is removable from the amplifier. Try to reseat it. If you have other servo amplifiers, see if they have the same circuit board by verifying the part numbers. If you're comfortable, try swapping the boards. Do keep in mind you have a possibility of losing home position on any axis you unplug the feedback cable on, and those would be the plugs that have J, F in their name. Don't forget, we're only a phone call away, and it's a free one at that. Call 888-326-8287, press 2 for CNC, and then press 2 for technical support. To reach the part sales department, press 2 for CNC, and then 1, and 1 again for part sales. And whoever you talk to will be happy to help.